ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to be here in this spectacular venue, performing some Maya Jal for the greatest cricket team in the world. In front of probably the most elite and most intelligent cricket audience in the world, we the people of Chennai wish the Australian cricket team a very pleasant stay in Chennai. But first, let me tell you a story. It's a tragic story. It's a story of my life. Long, long ago, maybe not so long ago, when I was as old as Ricky Ponting there, I was young, footloose, and carefree, and sitting in a bar, and in came this beautiful lady. I ordered a bottle of martini and poured her a drink as a present. I took this piece of paper and covered the bottle with it. But the wrap wasn't big enough for the bottle. She's not impressed. What did I do? I whisked out the tablecloth and decided to show her some magic. Would you like to see some magic? Now there are two ways in which I can do this trick. I can make the bottle disappear invisibly under the handkerchief or visibly without the handkerchief. Which would you like? Which would you like? All right, visibly without the handkerchief. Wrap still too small for the bottle. The only option is to make the wrap a little bigger or the bottle a little smaller. Both are possible being a magician. We just have to say the magic spell. Boom, boom, bazooki, limousine to Suzuki. Limousine's a big car and Suzuki's a small car, all right? Boom, boom, bazooki, limousine to Suzuki. She doesn't like martini. No problem. Boom, boom, bazooki, martini to Rose. Where's the bottle? Bottle's gone. It's all gone. It's my ajar after all. Ladies and gentlemen, the tragedy is I just wanted to get her drunk and I ended up marrying her. Did we live happily ever after? For a couple of years, yes. And then she became a Bhadra Kali and I had to get rid of her. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to witness the most mysterious of Maya Jals, the vanishing girl. Abracadabra. cricket test is if I can make Steve Waugh and Glenn McGrath disappear together. Is the Indian cricket board listening, sir? <laughs> Talking of cricket, it's time to call back the expert. The man who coached Yuvraj Singh, the man who coached Harbhajan Singh, and who many feel should be India's coach. Ladies and gentlemen, once more, the one and only Krishnamachari Srikan. What he's going to do, he's already vanished his wife. Next time, whether it's, he's supposed to burn his wife, back to you with Sunil. Thank you. Thanks, Srikan. I know you guys prefer Shine's uh, magic. But uh, again, I started the day, as usual, with my morning newspaper. 
There's a lot about some George and some Mantha and some Harbhajan Singh. And nothing about this lovely evening we're having here with all these lovely people. I got very upset. I said, I'm going to tear up the newspaper. And I proceeded to tear up the newspaper. And then I saw a column by Adam Gilchrist. Adam writes a column for Hindu, doesn't he? All right. Adam, Adam, where art thou? Will you help me with my next trick? <laughs> I know it's very rude to tear up uh, somebody's article. So we just won't tell him, all right? We just won't tell him that we have thrown it up. We just fold it very nicely so that he won't know about it. All right? Adam, where's your Eve? <laughs> I know you'd like to kiss your Eve, but would you like to kiss my newspaper? Oh, please? Just kiss it. Wow. <laughs> that may not be powerful enough, because you also got to say the magic spell. What's the magic spell? Googly, long-legged Chinaman, boom, boom, boomerang. Googly, long-legged Chinaman, boom, boom, boomerang. Say it. Googly, long-legged Chinaman, boom, boom, boomerang. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Cricket match, right? Yeah. You ready to play the cricket match? Yeah. Come here. We start the cricket match with a toss. We've got a gold coin and we got a silver coin. All right? Okay. Which do you want to toss with? Gold. A gold coin. So we'll take the silver coin out and we just put it inside. All right? Gone. What's left? The gold coin. Right? We have the gold Two coin. Coins. We have a gold coin and we have a silver coin. You're not impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all there on the screen there. All right? What about the one that went down your shirt? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's do it again. This time we'll take the gold coin out and drop it inside my shirt. It's gone. What's left? What's left? Silver coin. See? The silver coin and the gold coin. Right? This time, we'll give you the silver coin. Steve Waugh comes across this every time he has to toss. You're the vice captain. <laughs> Keep the silver coin with you. What do we have left? Gold. Gold coin. See? We still have yeah. both the coins Reproducing. here. Reproducing. He's very good. Now, we'll take the gold coin out. What do we have left? Only silver coin. Silver coin and gold coin. Right? Silver coin and gold coin. No <laughs> coin. It's all a Maya gel after all. Thank you very much, Ed. Thank you. Srikant, all yours. Now we are back to Sunil Vergish to his uh, last uh, tricks there. Sunil, all yours. I will start with a piece of silk. Magic is all about silks and coins. A piece of green silk in my right hand, which I shall put into my left hand. And say the magic words, abracadabra, hocus pocus, inky pinky po, and it turns into an egg. Hey! <laughs> right, I'm going to teach you how to do this trick, all right? Anybody wants to learn magic? Everybody wants to play cricket. Nobody wants to do magic. Tough luck. All right, I'm going to teach you how to do this. You start with a handkerchief, all right? You take it out, wave it, call it green, call it red, anything but yellow, all right? Take it. Put it into your hand. Your hand is not empty. It's already got an egg in it. See? And the silk goes into the egg. And then the magic words, abracadabra, etc., etc., etc. Did you get it? Okay. We'll just do it once more so that everybody gets the hang of it. We start with the egg in the left pocket and the silk in the right pocket. Take out the silk, push it into the hole in the egg, Right through the hole. Don't look at it. Look at the audience. All right? At the end of it, say the magic words. Abracadabra, hocus pocus, zinky pinky. And here you have an egg. But I'm pretty hungry. That's a problem. Whoops. I'm so sorry. You
can't make an omelet without breaking an egg, right? Ladies and gentlemen, for my last effect, I need the help of any young lady from the audience, please. Any young lady from the audience. <laughs> Welcome. Great. Now what I'm going to do, I've got a pack of cards. Now I didn't show you a card trick. Now this is a little different from ordinary packs of cards because it's got pictures of cricketers. Will you hold this? Uh, would you come to this mic here? All right, uh, just hold these cards. It's got different cricketers' pictures on the cards, right? Just a pack with cricketers' pictures on it, all right? Now, I want you to select one of them. Will you do that for me? Give it a good shuffle, and then tell me when to stop. This card, this one, no? All right, take it out, take it out. Show it, show it, show it to the camera. Who is that? Shane! Shane! <laughs> hey, that's great. That's great, isn't it? Now, will you tear up the card? Just tear it up. She doesn't want to tear up Shane Warren. Okay. I don't want put, to. Put it in my hand. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll just cover it with a handkerchief. All right? Maybe I'll give you one piece to hold in your right hand. One piece in your right hand. Hold it up. Show it to the camera. That one piece. The remaining pieces, take out through the handkerchief. Take it out through the handkerchief. Hold it in your left hand. All right, that's okay. That's okay. Right. Now, whom did you select? Shane. Shane, the magician. But of course, of course you would select Shane, wouldn't you? Shane, could we have you on stage, please? This is a real magician, all right? This is all humbo jumbo. Yeah, hold on. Hi. Hi. It's great to have you here. Now, there are three oranges on this table. Would you touch any one of them? All right. Catch. <laughs> Not out. <laughs> That's one more, please. Yeah. Okay, take that. Take that. Yeah, catch. No ball! Take the line, take the line. Can you come this way? Now let's recapitulate what we have done. Our young lady here. Simran. Of course. Oh. Simran has made a free choice from a pack of cards. And of course, she's chosen Shane Warren. Who wouldn't? Right? She's thrown up Shane Warren, much like Vivius Lakshman did a couple of days ago. One piece is in her right hand, the other pieces are in her left hand. Hold it separately. Shane, will you start opening the orange? Let's open the orange. And now, we say the magic words. Googly, transform, restore. What happened to the cards? You're holding the cards in your hand. What happened to it? You just took it from my hand. Is there something inside there? Take it out. Take out there. Give me the orange. Give me the orange. Take out the card. Can you take out the card, please? I don't know. Oh, it hold, it, hold it up to the camera. It's almost complete. There's one little piece missing. Simran, will you? Will you, will you just fit the piece onto that? Thank you, Simran. 